They just spent the evening with some friends playing cards, not watching TV, not working on my computer, not playing computer games, not being on Facebook, but playing cards. Actually, we played Munchkin, which is a uh, you know, fantasy-based, D&D-based uh, comedy game. And it was fun. We played for a few hours, just something different to do. And that's what I want to talk about today. Today I am, oh, first let me say I want to give a shout out to the Kinsey family, woot, woot, who I played cards with tonight. It was a lot of fun. And I want to thank one of my minions for getting me a brand new Mordant hat. So thank you, Katie. Woot, woot. <laughs> you know, every once in a while you need to do something different. You need to change up what you've been doing uh, we all have, uh, if you ever seen What the Bleep Do We Know, you know that, if you ever seen What the Bleep Do We Know, comma, you know that the brain creates neural pathways from habits that we form, things that we do on a regular basis, etc., etc., and that's well and good as long as those things are healthy, or that's well and good for a little while because you still want to change things up. They've done some studies as far as people, older people who are staving off dementia by doing crossword puzzles, keeping their mind fresh, doing, keeping things active, doing new things. And they find that when, you know, if they're hospitalized and the, they, they stop doing their crossword puzzles, then the, the dementia, you know, starts setting in. That's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you should do different things. Change things up every once in a while just to form new neural pathways in your brain, keeping your, your mind fresh, your outlook youthful and hopeful for the future. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in a rut and you're going to find that I've done all that I can do. You know, I'm 40, 50, 60 something. What is there left for me to do? I'm just going to exist. Instead, trying these new things, moving towards new ventures, you know, being excited about something that you're, that you're unsure of, something that you haven't done before. My old standby, learn to play the guitar. No, I don't know how to play the guitar. But it's, it's an example. You know, it's an example. Learn to play the guitar. Take up a language. Play cards instead of doing, doing computer work all night or just watching TV and vegetating. You know, take an active uh, part in your own life. Uh, by changing things up. It's good for your brain. It's good for your body. It's good for your spirit. It's good for your soul. Blah, blah, blah. You know, etc., etc. Ad infinitum. Going on and on and on. So, you know, do a video blog. Post a video blog. Post a response to this one. Say hi. Do something different. Even if you're shy, try something until you get comfortable with it and then try something else. If you ever work out in the gym, you'll know that you want to change things up. You know, you don't want to keep doing 886 as far as your reps. You don't want to keep picking up and doing the same machines every time in the same exact order. Your muscles get used to it. Same thing with your brain. Same thing with your life. Change it up. You know, take a vacation day. Go to uh, an amusement park or plant a tree or, you don't know, be creative. You're creative. And when you find out what these things are that you're going to do, when you've decided or you've tried these things, get on to facebook.com slash mortarworld and let me know. Let me know you've done something spanky or even here on YouTube or wherever this is going out to. So there you go. That's it for today with the card game. New hat. It's kind of spanky. Shiny. I like it. To quote uh, Firefly, shiny. <laughs> Welcome to my mortar world.